Councilmember Tiffany D. Thomas. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, I would like to acknowledge heads, heads up Houston in the audience today. If you can stand up, heads up. All right. Um, heads up Houston, um, led by Kevin Cabetti. Wave, wave Kevin to the people. Um, so Kevin and Heads Up, uh, they were instrumental in 2021 when, uh, after the Texas winter freeze. Uh, uh, not only Kevin and his leadership team, but most of the, the young faces you see in the audience were out there helping me push out water and supplies, um, even while they were navigating their own uh, recovery in their homes. And so I'm happy to have them in chambers, and they're going to be visiting the Houston Zoo. So thank you for your work, and I'll see y'all after Chambers. Yay! Give them a clap for that. Because we're always encouraging young people to respond and do work and get involved in your community, and they have, and their parents were right there with them. And so I'm, I'm truly indebted to their contribution to uh, our community. Uh, next week, uh, if you live in Piney Point, I want to encourage you to show up to your Piney Point Civic Club on Tuesday, August 8th at 7.30, the planning department will be there. This will be your very first meeting to discuss conservation districts. As you can recall, Piney Point is one of the six pilot neighborhoods. This is your opportunity to let your request be known. Um, we can call my office for details, but this is led by the Civic Club, and we are um, supporting uh, their efforts. Uh, on August 12th on Saturday, we're going to host our annual back to school giveaway along with many other individuals. This will be Saturday, August 12th at 2.30 to 4.30 at the A Leaf Neighborhood Center. Um, the main highlight will be the Elsick Hastings alumni basketball game. The winner gets bragging rights and bragging rights only. Um, but a, a side note of the backpacks, we're also going to be providing supplies for teen expected mothers looking forward to serving the community in a deep and meaningful way. We are asking for registration. Registration. Please register by the QR code online, or you can call our office at 832-393-3002. Oak Harbor Subdivision, I'm coming to you on Tuesday, August 15th from 6 to 7. We're talking sidewalks, safety concerns, updates on projects, and I'm willing to hear your questions and concerns about the upcoming um, uh, enhancements to Hackberry Park, which flanks behind your neighborhood. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, this is interesting for you, and maybe Councilmember Alcorn, you might be uh, curious to know that we did a cost estimate of that subdivision for sidewalk repairs, and it came back at $2 million. $2 million. So I'm coming back to the community to show them exactly what it looks like, what it costs, what the alternatives are, because our funds are limited. Um, and so we're going to have a community conversation so the community will help me prioritize how I um, organize my council district service funds uh, to, to at least get them some ADA ramps. But just to kind of give everyone context to how much it costs, and you're talking a subdivision of 125 doors. It's small. So, uh, but meet us there August 15th, Tuesday. I also want to shout out the District F interns. I believe we got the baddest interns in the city. I just believe that. Uh, Isabella Garcia and Tommy Wan, uh, they are back. They have been with me for three, two or three years. Um, they are pros in this game. I um, mean, I really appreciate that. They're running the whole a Lee Votes operation out of my office. It's a fantastic opportunity. But I think our council offices and city government should be where young people feel comfortable. They should, you know, um, be rooted. They should um, sharpen their skills. They should be around the, the, the work that we do and influence our work. So I want to uh, publicly shout y'all out. They're going to continue to work with us as they wrap up their summer. Um, with that, I want to encourage uh, young people, in specifically in A-LEAF, because this is a funded initiative from my district office, the Department of Neighborhoods and OCA Greater Houston for the a Lee Votes Fellowship. Please apply. The uh, deadline is September 1. We continue to grow this roster, and I believe we have 16 so far for the upcoming year. Only a Lee students may apply, and they'll receive civic engagement training, resources, a stipend, and a budget to fund their own community projects. This a Lee Votes Fellow also receives an administrative support from my office, as you can see. Y'all can tour, and you can see the whole uh, compound. So I just want to thank um, all of them for their work. And we're going to continue to rock on the west side, the best side. Great. So Thank you. you're telling me we, we, we can't apply when we finish up in December? Uh, no, sir. You are okay. not eligible. Oh, I'm sorry. But That's... we would love to have you volunteer. No, thanks.